Hello there and welcome to the Pokemon Scarlet Randomizer Snus Lock Episode 3. And we're gonna be doing this. Um okay. <laughs> just like just back in his face and just like You what? So we know this guy is a fairy steel type, so. He's level four. But sword dog. He can go wire by now. Oh wow, that's quite a lot of XP. I don't want to get too OP, so I think we're good for leveling up. So we're gonna have a little a little wander down yonder. There comes a point in the game though where we can start like skipping. And boy was I OP in this game. Bruh, I was so OP in this game, you have no idea. So I'm just keeping an eye out for shiny um, Pokemon and shiny little bits on the floor. So these are usually Psyducks, so I'm guessing it replaced Psyduck with um, Gothitelle. Mm. And down here there's usually Wiglets. So I'm guessing Wiglet is replaced... What the hell are you? Are you a baby? Yeah, you are a baby. I don't think that's a shiny baby though. I think it's just a regular blue for Blaby, but let's have a look. I don't think you're shiny, right? No, you are not. You're just a regular for baby. So let's just get rid of you because I'm scared of fairies as a dragon. Let's get rid of you real quick. They just look very vibrant because they're all for baby in this game. You get them near um, what's his name's place? There's a Sligu. There's some kind. Can you stop sneaking? All of you look legit. Is that a shiny item or is that just flowers? That's just flowers. All right. Does that mean I can go back to the secret cave through here? Or am I not allowed to go in this water because it's too deep? Ah. It's too deep. Muy estupido. Muy, muy. Look at this, look at this lad sitting on his bomb. Look at him just straight chilling. Look at this guy just straight chilling. Don't get up, bro. It's calm. Imagine how scary all these crocodiles would be. Oh, actually, it's looking at crocodiles. Are you the good kind of crocodile? Crocodile or not? Oh, you are the good kind. You got Moxie. Wee. All right. He can't remember any moves. That's unusual for a fully evolved. Also, he's got a positive attack nature. Oh my god, the gods are blessing us for once. We should get everything to be a negative attack nature. Jesus. All right. Well, let's make our way back up here where we were supposed to be. With the many Eternatuses just kissing in the corner. Oh, some Zenith's back. Oh, he's he's in the slippy slide. All right, Zama Zenith. Hello. Hello, Zama Zenith. Are you going to... Zamazenta's just chilling. Zamazenta's just like, I don't give a shit. Should we fight Eternatus? Come on. Look at this silly fuck. Under pressure. Dun 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 He's dragon poison, but hopefully he doesn't have anything that can one-shot me. Oh, you had one chance, one shot, one opportunity. But just in case he does outspeed me, I've got extreme speed. <laughs> you stupid fool! You underestimated my power! Oh. Jabal and Sand Team. Yep. Uh, don't need to leer. So you see, I had the little, um, the bulb. So if that bulb comes up, I we've got to fight the trainer, sorry. I forgot. We have a trainer to fight. Because they don't force you to fight trainers in this game, because they're actually smart. For what I did not see that EV. My biggest problem with this game is when you get access to the bike. Thank you, by the way. When you get access to the bike and you're moving very fast, a lot of the normal Pokemon they spawn are very small. Hey buddy. The little kid wearing a fedora. My lady. I would like to fight you, my youngster. Youngster Elian. He's got a phalanx, okay. Cool, cool, cool. This is an easy clap. If you've only got one, you do only have one. Easy clap, sorry. 
<laughs> Zori Mangon. But I have a flying type with a flying move. He's very powerful. So um, you are not getting the cookies today. So you see, watch that stupid Eevee. It ran under us. Please don't be still under us. Your Pokemon are strong, huh? All right, phase out existence. Because I remember playing this. Sorryization. Um, is that... Oh my god, it's the bastard. Look at this little shit. Oh, routes. I love routes. Probably should stop saying what Pokemon I'd love to have and actually, like, not be a cock. But the game, yeah, it does limit you where you can go. We're trying to go to the Academy, of course. But you can just do this. You can just go off on a madness. Like, we could go all the way down there. Visit those ruins. I think for now, though, until we get... Like, I did this all on foot. When I first played, I'm not going to lie. I went on foot. I went absolutely everywhere you can go. I even sequence broke with a teleporting glitch. I almost got stuck on an island with it. By the way. I'll just have a little look around see if it... Oh, so give me all. Hello, mate. Oh, Eevee. Piss off. Yeah, I bastard. I don't think I can get up to that. You see a little gimmigle on the rock? Right there, Nick. So I'll, I'll, I'll do... Look at him. Golden Gaul is so good. Eh. I don't think I can get up there, though. I think I think we literally need our um, bicycle. So come up here because there is a TM up here. There usually is something good at the end of these little good bits. All right, we've got another copy of Swift. That's fine, though. That's fine. You know the EV, it's not shiny. Oh, we're gonna head back to the Poker Center. So you can just roam. You can just roam and roam and roam and roam. And the problem is that there's not really much to do when you roam. Do we go into Little Town? Because once we get the bicycle, we get like a massive speed buff. Um, and it just makes much more sense. Than what we're doing right now, which is just walking around. Oh, look, there's a little app. app. Is it Applin? Hey, Applin. I was <laughs> looking at everything going, oh, it's so cool. I can see this thing. Hey, guys. I got into it. It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> a Pokeball. A Rabascala? Whatever it's called. I don't know. All right. Arceus's, please stay out of the way. I don't need you interfering. I guarantee at some point. Oh my god, there's a great tusk. I said to it, no paradox Pokemon walking around. You're such a willy, bro. What the hell? Oh, there's a glaring Articuno. Sorry, my young friend. There's a legendary glaring Articuno kind of having us a, a little chat. But don't, don't question, question, question mark me. Glaring Articuno, my good legendary friend. I would like to clap at thine cheeks, if you do not mind, sir. I believe he is flying psychic. He is. <laughs> he is indeed. Sorry, Articuno. I like you. Was he saying question mark for Cinderace? Bro, we, bro, we caught Cinderace. Why are you saying question, question, question for Cinderace? Like, okay. Whatever. We literally have a Cinderace in our, t in our team. Why are you saying question, question, question? Oh, also. Get your paradox ass over here. Greek Tusks. I can't remember what his typing is, but... I believe it's something... Okay, he's a fighting type. He's fighting rock, I think, or fighting ground or something weird. Yeah, he's wants to learn the move. Double kick. Yep, you can learn double kick. See, so this is why everyone thought he was going to be firefighting. We'll keep Ember for now, PP and such. I'm not trying to fight wild Pokemon and get over leveled. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm the five things that are legends, okay? If it's legendary and we haven't seen it before, I am going to fight it. There you go. That's my promise. Oh, den, 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 den,
So I mean about little Pokemon. I'm so busy looking at the giant, angry, great tusks that I am not paying any attention to anything else. All right, boy. You and me, right now. Come yard, throw hand, mash the ting up. That's a go. All right, forget everything I said. You know what? No internet saying rudenesses to me. Um, so it's a pressure resu. It's a level five pressure resu. Um, oh, we got two ground types. Oh no! Oh no! I fucked up. I fucked up. I shouldn't have put caught Cookie Dial. Really? I'm gonna lower my attack. Doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter. That matters. You can't be missing your attacks, my boy. Hanna my boogie. Hmm. Now I have to make a decision. Well, not yet. Okay. Zahira, the student. Zahira. Zahira. You lost even though you Pokemon full HP? I don't really give a fuck. So does that mean that every Pokemon that I caught... Where did I get Cinderace? Did I get Cinderace in the cave? I did, didn't I? Leave me alone. But you see what I mean? I didn't get into a fight, but because you're surrounded by him, you can literally get backed into fight after fight after fight after fight. Uh, where's that Copper Roger? I mean, oh, well, Cutifan. Hey, Cutifan, do I know you? Oh no, so I know the cutie fan, but just not the Cinderace. What about you? I don't know you. Well, I do know you're an Aplin, but... I don't know you like that, you know what I mean? I don't know you like that, bro. I don't know you, bro. So we're going to follow Nemona. Look at that Eevee on, on that Eevee on the speed, brother. That Eevee's on the speed. Hey, Florian, over here. Why don't I run from you? Why is she looking... That way. Oh, I came from that way. <laughs> this here is a Pokemon Center. You can come here and take care of a lot of things related to your Pokemon. But I'll leave the explanation to the process. Oh, happy to be of service and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Ugh. Here on my left is the Pokemon Ball, Pokemon Counter. You can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. Hello, we accept payments both in cash and LP. One LP is worth one dollar. And to my right, it's a technical machine, TM machine for short. It's your ticket to making TMs which you can use to teach move to your Pokemon. You need to pay LP to supply the machine with materials for the Pokemon to drop. <sighs> LP comes in handy both at these machines at stores. I've got a lot, so here, have some. Man, she is desperate. She's just like, hey, have five brand, bro. Don't worry about it. We're friends now. And some materials. At the Union Circle, you can connect with other trainers and find yourself some adventure companions. Come visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime you need help. We will, thank you. Remember, had a rough adventure, go to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff for quizzes at school. But mnemonics help out too. Another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. Go for sure, but it helps you remember that you can send out the Pokemon with the R button. That way you can have the Pokemon that's walking around with you go pick up items around or go battle on its own and stuff like that. Yep. Now let's go adventure mode. Don't worry about it, it's pointless. So we're looking for a dude in a suit. Is there a dude in a suit at this Pokemon Center? No, there might not be. I guess they're not. Anyway. What kind of TMs can we make? So we can make Mud Slap, we can make Low Kick, we can make Disarming Voice, and we can make Mud Shot and Helping Hand. Um, and we only have recipes for so many of them, by the way. So Mud Slap, three of them can learn, you can see there. <sighs> Low Kick is meh. Disarming Voice would be nice if no one can learn it. We've already got Mud Shot as a TM. Does it say? Yeah, it does say we have one above me right at the top there. Uh, but we don't want anything else, so that's fine. You... Heal me. Do, 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 do. I would love to use Palasan, but... Or... Sandy Ghast. Oh yes, I know how to use a Pokemon Center, you stupid flip-flop. Um... 
So we're just gonna make our way to the academy, which is there. What is it these like? See, see these birds up here? Look, this is what I say about this game. Look, go here. Then they in that claymation 10 FPS, and then you just walk here, and it's like, oh yeah, they're fine now. But there's stuff you can do here, like that. Look at that woman walking on the street there in the pink. It's literally a stop motion. It's so creepy. Oh, by the way, there can be items hidden, like, as you can see, right here. Just in these towns, we can find items. Uh, if you do your due diligence and you pay attention to Wagwan. Look, it's 10 FPS walking lady. Um, then you should have no worries for the rest of your days. Is there any items back there? There might be, I really don't care. There's so many items. But if you do walk around, you just spend like an hour or something just rummaging around the fields. Wait, it just changed its name, didn't it? Hold up. Before I run into a Pokemon, what's this place called? I know it's a Mesagoza, but what is the name of that? So if I go here, that's Los Platos. And this is South Area 1? Okay, Area 1, we're in the same area, so we can't catch anything still. It's still all part of the same big family of nonsense. Still, though, keeping an eye out for shinies, if there is any. Oh, there's another trainer. I will fight the trainers. It does give you actually good rewards for fighting the trainers. Um, we didn't see him. I thought we would have seen him, but maybe we see him at the next place. But if you fight all the trainers in a certain area of the game, the Pokemon League guy will... Oh, that's a bit loose. My mic stands a bit loose, so... Oh. 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 Do you up a bit. There we go. Dragon on dragon action. Now this one's a problem though, because I'm weak to dragon, he's weak to dragon, I don't have a dragon attack, but he's a ghost type, so I can't use uh, my E speed. But luckily I've got rid of him. Although, did you notice they got rid of his see through town? He just has a white tail now. So it doesn't go see through, they couldn't handle see throughness. But they mostly only have one or two Pokemon. It's a big problem with this, they. Oh no, you do not. Do not run up on me, brother. Giraffe rig. You know this thing? I caught a shiny of this. For Ferrogeriff. For I actually got a legit shiny of this in Violet. There's a bunch of these in Area Zero. Which we'll get to. Um, oh man, it's your boy. It's your boy. I'm going to collect some items. I'm just collecting items, don't mind me. We're going to the town. Oh my god, every time I see an item, I just go to a new area. Like, look, there's shit everywhere. I'm just like... <gasps> um, it's an Aris... No, what are you... What's your name again? Oh god, wait. There's just a Tornadus. Man, this is so weird. I'm just looking at everything like... Ah. They're just casual Kyogre. Don't worry about... Where did that item go, by the way? Oh, here it is. Casual, look, a whole casual herd of Kyogres just, just wandering around as you do. This is so weird. It's blowing my mind with its weirdness. That's a Kamala Khan. I am kind of looking for the hidden items, to be fair, more than these items. Because they are legitimately randomized. There's a trainer there. Let's go see the trainer real quick. Leave Arceus alone. So I don't have to do six million voice lines when I walk through here. All right, Ash Wannabe, what's your name? Making deliveries? Oh, you're a delivery guy, okay. Oh, Ponyard, look how shiny and metallic he is. Guess what my fist is made of? Pure unadulterated fire. And a crit. He didn't even need to crit to be honest. You know. A lot of trains in this game do have one or two Pokemon. It gets really infuriating when I was playing the game because you find a train and you'd be like, all right, let's have a proper battle. And they'd be like, here's my one Pokemon. I'm just like, bro, it's like three quarters of the way through the game. Why'd you have one Pokemon? And they're just like, meh. So yeah, I don't want to go too much um, off the beaten track. I don't know, there's no hidden items. There's usually like loads of them, but... Now I want them because I want the rewards from... Here he is, Mr. Suit. So if you talk to him, you'll get told. Like, uh, hey, we're having some nice battles. 
There's a hidden item right there. Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep. Have you been having some nice Pokemon battles? Well, good news. Since you, if you can defeat four trainers here in Area 1 of the South Province, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. So if I do it, four trainers here in the Proud Province by the Pokemon League, here's your lovely prize. On the way. So it gives you TMs, held items, generally good shit. So like, it's, it's worth doing it. There's a, help, there's a hidden item here. Just in case you miss what a hidden item looks like, there you go, shiny thing in between my feet. Ooh, Tangleberry. Ooh, piece of candy. Mmm, candy. Mmm, candy makes me randy. So, like, you can go all the way down there. There's an item there. We don't have accessibility right now, so unless you want to watch me spend three hours running on my feet to every corner, we're going to Methagotha. I'm probably going to have exploration episodes and like, yeah, we'll go look at this whole area today. Hey, Florian! Did you battle some trains on the hill? I bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me in who you have learned in the battle? Sure. All right, nothing like having a friend around. Come on, Florian, let's have a fruitful battle. Does she keep saying fruitful because it's the Grape and Orange Academies? Is it their motto, like? Also, I don't get why she has the fisting glove. She still has an Italian. I still have a Dragonite, though. The difference is the significance between us. You seem like you're getting better at this, so I'm coming at you with two Pokemon this time. Uh, no, no, I have four. And I beat you last time as well. Now I didn't tell you gets one shot. You really worked your type matchups. I can tell a battle you want to win. I hate they react to crits and they react to super effective hits. Bro, it's annoying. You don't need to hammer the point. And at a certain point, you should cut that shit off. Mareep. Uh, sand tomb for you. Or sand tomb for you. Meh. Yeah. Let's use Crocodile, why not? So use type effectiveness. By the way, we're on par for the first gym already. The first gym. Like the gym in the you can get to the first gym at like level 30. Wow, even better than I expected. You're legit, Florian. I'm not even joking. I think I got to the first gym at like level 35. And they were like, here's my level 12. And I went, oh. <laughs> Fear me in my level 12. That is a blast. You, I think I better pull my ace out in the hole. Guess what? She's going to cheat! Yep, she's terrestrializing. Um, is that electric? Yes, it is. Good. Now, the problem is, I don't think they randomize the terrestrializing, but it can be anything. Ugh, I miss Marie. Can I have your Marie, please? This is another game we started with the Sailor Legendary Dragon. Hmm. Yay! She blatantly wants some, bro. Look at the way she's smiling at us. Man, I can't believe how fast you're improving. I am Stimpy. Amazing, look at you taking on the terrestrialized opponent and winning, no problem. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get it taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles, I forget that you are new to this stuff sometimes. Anyway, it was fun to battle you. Here, have some revives as a thanks. That is to me an insult. You insinuate I will lose my Pokemon. You go now, you've insulted me. Go. Leave. Now, Mr. Goza, uh, waiting is just past this gate. At last, the city where the school is. School. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so it's gonna make take a quick breather and I'll catch up with you soon. Not that creepy noise which it was, but hey. Mm -mm -mm. No, it's still grape flavored. Why is the Pokeball still purple? Wait, from a distance it was orange. Oh wow, lighting glitch. The Matrix hadn't loaded in quite yet. First big complaint about this game? 
other than the fact they didn't bother to color the Pokeball in, it's still purple. You could just made it red. There has been neither team, neither game's colors, but you know. All right, where am I? Oh, we finally made it, huh? This is Mesogoza, the biggest city in Paldea. Mm -hmm. It's a big trade hub since long ago. Lots of us came here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look and places to test the foods and fixings. You really do need to use sandwiches in this if you, later in the game. What do you want to see first, Florian? Uh, neither. I don't care. Tasty food, I guess. Huh. I didn't have to pay for a bit either. But that's smart. You're not going to battle with a growling tummy, right? Oh, speaking of battling, I sure want to be, uh, you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too, Florian. There's a few things you have to get done for us to happen, but I'll take care of them. Meanwhile, I just have fun looking around the city a bit. There's so much to do, grab a bite, buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. If you want my personal recommendation, you got to see Deliver Presents. There's a handy items for Pokemon to hold. See? Once you've seen your field, you can meet up again at the front of the school. Just be ready, the says at the school are no joke. Later then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. Yeah, I will. I'll get pumped for you, baby. Uh, Deliver Presents. Oh god, everything just loads in. Right, first things first, I'm the greatest. Uh, so we're going to save, just to make sure we save. It does say Coridon down there, right? Huh. Can I... No. No. Oh, that's actually my uniform. No. What's the least lame looking one? I think it's the winter, right? Yeah, we're gonna go with winter. Yep. I look less like a penis. Unfortunately, I'm still wearing my hat, but can you do? Oh, I'm not gonna do this. I uh, know if you run around, there's items. I don't really care. Um. Have I been my map again? I literally cannot remember. Okay. Is it down on the D-pad? No, that's the camera. Uh, is it start? Minus? Minus the Pokedex. No. Off you go, bro. I remember how you see your map. But these food shops are real. You can go in the food shops, you can go in the hairdressing shops, and you can go in the clothes shops. But I think most of these shops, if you go to them like this, it just goes up like this and goes into a menu and go, what do you want to buy? And I'm like, no, I don't want to buy anything, I'm cool. That's a food shop. I do actually want to go to a Deli Bird Presence. I know where one of them is, but it's kind of out of the way, and I hope it doesn't make me go all the way down there. That's uh, another food place. Uh, there's a shop that doesn't exist. There's just a door. Excuse me for walking into a place that doesn't exist. That's another food place. Oh, there's an item here, though, at least. Ooh, rare candy. Mmm, piece of candy. Mmm, large is candy. Uh, blah, 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 blah. where is this daily by president? Come on, man, you're being a penis right now. There's another Pokemon Center. There's another 10 frames a second child running around. We don't need that, though. We got our boy Dragon Eye. We can keep you right in your corky. Right so, this is the middle place, so this is usually uh, cool. That's a cafe. You can see it's got the little cafe sign. There's the same cafe again. What the hell is this? Uh, okay, apparently we can't go into that one. There's really, really slow birds. Um, a pill shop? No. Oh. Chancy Supply, what do you have? Oh, X items. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa, brother. 
So I thought I'd show you this because why not? So look, you can change your gloves. Look, I have fiery gloves. We can't change our clothes whatsoever. We can change our gloves. I think we can change our shoes and our hat and that's it. And a backpack. I mean, if you're wearing plain violet, you can get away with that. Are these just glove gloves? Okay, brown, olive, beige, gray, pink, purple, navy, orange. I think having orange gloves is kind of weird, even though we're in, we wear in orange. Oh, white gloves look weirder. I want to buy some black gloves just because. Oh, um, why did I just say no? Ugh, fine. Pom pom hat. Oh, that looks terrible. We actually wear glasses, well. Yep. I don't know how we change our appearance, by the way. I know this is our uniform. Oh, okay, we can do it in here. What's this? Oh, makes sense, I guess. I want to wear the sneakers, bro. Sneakers are for sneaking, you get me? Give me my black gloves. What's this? I just have no backpack. Oh, okay, fine. Um, remove! Oh, wrong button. I always from my memory. School helmet. Oh, God. I'm not one of those kids who wears a helmet, trust me. I'm not in that kind of school. Uh, yes, please. There you go. I look less stupid. Uh, oh, look, the same cafe again. Sock shop. Glasses shops. So they specialize in shit. And then you got a hat shop. I let's have a look at the hats. I don't really want to wear a hat. You can get some really dumb looking ones as well, but I don't think you can get them from here. Binny. Manga the Binny. A sock hat. What's a Gatsby? Oh, it's a flat cap. Do they presume that that's where you're, you're like, oh yes, I didn't remember that. It's from The Great Gatsby. You know, the movie that all children watch, The Great Gatsby. Or is it, is it legitimately called The Gatsby Hat? Because I, I'd just say it's a flat cap, anyway. So we're going to ignore it because um, I do not have the slightest clue where to get to a deli bird present. I know this, there's like, there's guides to this thing. I, like If you go down one of these side streets, it's on the bottom. I know there's one there. But let's get on with this. Whoa, 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 what do we have here then? Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine bright as anybody. Uh. Seriously, what's with you? You don't want to burn bright like with awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we got a quota to film and to feel for new members, so just sign up already. I'd rather not. Help her out. <laughs> Bang, just shove her out the way. Yeah, you want some G? Hmm, you wanted on this too? If you're here to sign up, we'll get you next, but we've nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Scar, kid, so we burn so bright it hurts to look at us, but you knew that, right? Uh, no. Ah, another ignorant little nobody. I'm here, I'm finally a part of Team Star, and I still get the respect. I've still worked my way up the ranks. Hey, we can't let something like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line, so we've got no rules for us but to battle, yeah? That's true, keep watching the four, the four eyes over there. I mentioned this fresh face, nobody ends up seeing stars. Just like. Really? Look how furry Iggly Buck is. This looks made of felt. The only thing you are gonna felt is my, my feast up your asshole. Because we're even a car, even a fairy type comic with a good one. Don't be coming at me with this silliness. Yeah. Better. So I just realized I was like, I'm gonna record one episode and I've recorded three. And it's almost half 11 at night. Don't worry, I only got work in the morning. I love this game. Yeah, why would nobody like you good, be so good at battling anyway? It's just not right. No way, he beat you. Wait, was he? Was he a white dude before? 
Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up in this demon tower's ranks? Better burn, what do you think you're doing? Good dog. Eh. Is that student council dweeb? Also glitching out hedge right next to the Mona's ponytail. <laughs> the Matrix cannot handle this levels of stupidity. Also the team star oh, I'm going to Team Skull, the team star grunt. Her hands are glitching as well. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, Florian. You don't have to go and find Randos to battle, you have all the battles you need with me. Um There's a team star punks. Wait, they picked the fight with you? Wow, I read that they won't, we sorry. I thought you were cheating on me. Oh no, reality is breaking down behind them. I get it now, Team Star have written all over you. What? You have Team Star written all over you for sure. What with the uh, star goggles and the star on your uh, little uh, thigh and the symbol on your arms of your shirt. I bet you're trying to pressure people to sign up again, weren't you? Uh... Hi, we were not doing that. Well, that explains it. I set up the student council. Stopping this nonsense is normally be my job, but uh, this is the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and honorary gift for you. You obtained a terror orb. It spreads terror. Yep. I mean, it's just a pokeball with a general in it, but anyway. With this terror orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see, after it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure Dragonite will be a flying type. Normally, you got to take special classes to be able to use one of the terror orbs, but I put in a good word for you. You're my friend, my boyfriend. It's like, uh, she's really clingy and weird. Now it's time to give it a whirl. You learn to use it fast in battle if you just, ex other than just explain it to you. Wait, you want this kid to practice wailing on us with a terrible Pokemon, is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Uh, never mind, I'll take my chances with the new kid. Take your places and battle. Round two, fight. Um. Okay. I don't know why it says that fine fantasy music, but here's a Bwezel. Look how furry the Bwezel is. He's all furry. He's all furry, furry Bwezel. Do I have to terrestrialize? Because... Fine, I'll do it. Look, it makes us all shiny. Look, we become a flying type instead of a flying dragon. Which gets rid of resistance to water. I don't know why I'd ever want to do this, but just because it's a tutorial, we do what it says. Fine. Don't worry. Hey look, we got silly balloons on our head now. Ain't it cool? It looks like we were in a turban, which could be offensive. I mean, it doesn't affect my thunder punch. If it did, I would have been mad and not done it, but... Hey. Ah. Your Pokemon bird's so bright. Indeed it did, sir. Also, I just realized I've gone 30 minutes. Nice for you, put up terrorizing, no problem. The moves of your Pokemon's terror type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized, you know? Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose terror type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. You've got to judge your terror about the Pokemon sent after every use. By healing up your team, no? Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yes. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista, baby. Me too, hasta la vista. Why she's like... It's closed one of her eyes for like no reason. So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students who like to keep up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them from what I hear. Excuse me. I uh, just, well, thanks. So, yeah, see you around. She, she must be really shy. Oh, look at you, Florian. You're becoming a big hero on campus. I don't think I've ever seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That TV bag, though, I love the fluff. Anyway, seems like the trouble has died down, so we better go book it up to school. Be ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. Yeah. If it's the worst staircase in the world, why are you running? Why are you running? Also, I like how they're complaining that it's the worst staircase in the world when they designed it to look like this. I was thinking if there's a de deli bird livery. Also, I like how there's just there's just shops here. Like it hasn't loaded. It hasn't. I don't know why it's bugging out like this. They're, they're, 
The Matrix! The Matrix! Also, look at this dude just chilling in midair. Because this building hasn't loaded either. Because you see how you can go up here? Hey, look, I'm on the invisible. I can fly! I can fly, yeah! Oh. I can fly, oh no! Oh. How do I get out of here? Oh, okay. I can just go back up on the roof tip and go in here. Uh oh. Whoa. Alright. We. It's good job, That's not one. Man, how am I supposed to find this place if half the buildings are invisible? <laughs> oh my god. My goodness. My goodness. Also, you can see there's a Pokemon Center right there, but. I'm gonna get to the top of the stairs. Ignore the 1080p characters. It's 1080p boy, man. What the hell? All right, let's save it here. And say, before I go, let me have a look. I want to check something real quick. Right, so he's juggling flying, he becomes flying. Ghost ground becomes ghost. Fire stays fire. Ground dark becomes ground. Oh, he'd have been better if he went just pure dark. I'd have preferred that. Because Thrasalizing is a boost, and I don't really need him as a ground type. I'd rather him as a dark type. Boost is earthquake whenever he gets it. But anyway, for now, thank you for watching today's episode of the Pokemon Scarlet. Random Master Slot. Um, in the next episode, we will head into Mephagotha and learn more about our school life, such and whatnot. Um, probably won't be doing any real exploring until we get our bicycle. You'll see if you don't know what that means. But yeah. We'll continue on with more story in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.